So guys, another hotfix is coming later today. Well, to be honest, by the time this video goes out, it'll probably be live. And a few changes are coming, including uh, actually some decent changes, which we'll get into in a second. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like, it really helps out, and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. And also, every week I give away copies of the game to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so... There's a hot fix coming later today, 3pm PDT, which like I said by the time this video drops it'll probably be already live. And this is what it states, let's read through the entire post. This week's Borderlands 3 hotfixes, which will be live on all platforms by or before 3pm PDT. Today include quality of life adjustments to Bloody Harvest and address various issues reported by the community. We appreciate all the help. Please keep sending in your bugs and feedback to support.2k.com. Bloody Harvest Adjustments. Captain Horn is a fun boss fight with multiple phases, but players were often skipping entire phases because Captain Horn's shields were so low. We increased his shields to make the fight slightly more engaging for most players and dramatically increased the loot drop chance. Wicked people. So players are compensated nicely for defeating Captain Horn. Increased Captain Horn's chance to drop a legendary yeah, now is your chance people, get that vindicated gas cool, the grenade, the best legendary this event offers. Increase Captain Horn's shields. The Hectoplasm drop rate from Ghost has been increased. Ghost drop 2 Hectoplasms. Badass Ghost drop 3. Loot Ghost drop 5. Loot Ghosts now drop more loot. Loot Ghosts have increased the chance of dropping Bloody Harvest specific gear. Pretty cool. Terra Anointments. Following what we've seen and heard from the community and the fading Halloween season, you're going to start seeing less Terra Anointed parts dropping from regular enemies. Bloody Harvest enemies including ghosts will be picking up the slack, so if you're hunting to make a spooky build, you know where to look. The chance for Terra Anointed parts to drop from regular enemies has been decreased. The chance for Terra Anointed parts to drop from Bloody Harvest enemies has been increased. Bug fixes. Anointed enemies are no longer immune to cryo damage. Good. Now, although they can be slowed by cryo damage, they cannot be frozen. Addressed a reported potential progression blocker for it's alive with the abomination bot. Addressed a reported potential progression blocker if players quit the game at a certain point in the Guns of Reliance. Addressed a report issue that explosive gunpowder barrels were not showing effects when shot. Explosions created by enemy badass weapons have a much quicker explosion effect to reduce screen clutter. We found that badass enemies with heavy weapons are creating too many explosion effects that lingered on the screen, hindering the player's view at times. We are going to make a larger change to their weapons in the patch but wanted to shorten the explosion particle effect to dramatically lower screen clutter. And that is it guys, that is what's coming with the hotfix and some decent changes to I mean Captain Haunt to me. I mean playing Zane main, not really going for a particular damage build, his shield didn't seem too crazy, I mean I could take it out pretty quick I admit that but hey, increased legendary loot drops from him. Amazing. Increased loot drops from Loot Ghost 2. Absolutely amazing. So some decent changes here, people. There really is. But just a quick hot fix I thought I'd bring you guys. As you guys know, I try and stay up to date with the latest news just for you people. So if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to stay up to date with the latest surrounding Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.